uh, class, I really want to talk to you today about a concern. Now, I know you're just in high school, and uh, you can't really see this like I see it, but the thing that's really concerned me is, you know, you're just fresh out of Spanish 1, and there's really something that's burdening me that I've seen in you that you haven't been able to see yet. The fact is that, that you guys are walking around literally with shackles. Now, these are invisible shackles. These aren't like physical shackles. These are more of a, a spiritual slash academic shackle. You see, in Spanish 1, you're all happy and stuff because you can say, yo hablo espanol, I speak Spanish. But the oppression that I'm seeing is like this. What if you want to say, profe, last night I went to Hacienda and yo hablo espanol. No, you're stuck. Today is the day that I want to proclaim liberty and say, profe, last night I went to Hacienda and I hablé espanol. Not just simply hablo, simple present tense. Today is the day I want to set you free to be able to speak in the past tense. So if you join with me in this liberation, I want to show you some simple endings that you can add to the verbs to be able to speak in the past tense and break those shackles that have bound you. Now if you follow along, it's real simple. If it's an AR verb, such as tomar, you drop the AR and you add the letter A, aste, o, amos, aron. A would be for the yo. So let's take the verb tomar. Would you say it with me? Tome. No longer do I just say yo tomo espanol, but you can say yo tome espanol uno. I took Spanish one. It's liberating. It's liberating. Uh, hold on a second. Let me uh, show you that there's a couple other verbs here, such as tomaste. Say it. Tomaste. You took. Tomo. Tomo. He took. Tomamos. Tomamos. We took. Tomaron. Tomaron. They took. You're starting to feel a little bit of a, a loosening, but there's still shackles on your feet. So if you would just break them off. And the full liberty is found with the ER and IR verbs. You see, for an ER and IR verb, it's very similar. It's E. It's ISTE. For the he and she, it's IL. For the we, it's IMOS. And for the you guys and they, it's YERON. So let's take, for example, the verb COMER. As of yesterday, you guys were stuck unknowingly, and not your fault to say yo como. But what about last night? Your mom made that delicious lasagna. Now you can tell me, comi. Everyone say it. Comi. I ate. Comiste. Comiste. You ate. Comio. Comio. He ate. Comimos. Comimos. We ate. And I'm feeling the liberty. Comieron. Yeah. Is anyone feeling freedom? Or is it just me? Yo corre! Yo corre! AJ! You're liberated! You ran! I ran! I'm not running, I ran! That's excellent. Does anyone else have a second testimony? Emocionado. Muy emocionado. You know, they say that teachers, it's not a high paying job. But the satisfaction that I get just being able to set you guys free, it's payment. It's payment. Well, I'll tell you what. Tonight, no homework. Yay!